Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how we can identify non-metal ions. These ions are carbonate, the halides chloride, bromide and iodide, and finally sulphate. Um, this is for triple chemistry students only. Let's start by looking at how we test for the carbonate ion. You need to learn these stages. We start by adding dilute acid to our sample and any acid will work. If carbonate's present, then the acid will react with the carbonate to make carbon dioxide gas. We will see effervescence, in other words fizzing, but that does not prove that we've got carbon dioxide gas. So now we bubble the gas through lime water. If the lime water goes cloudy, then this proves that we've got carbon dioxide, and that means that we started with the carbonate ion. Let's look now at how we test for halide ions, in other words chloride, bromide and iodide. Here are the stages. First we add dilute nitric acid to the sample. We then add dilute silver nitrate solution. Halide ions produce a precipitate of the silver halide, and each halide makes a different coloured precipitate, and you need to memorise them. Chloride ions produce a white precipitate of silver chloride. Bromide ions produce a cream precipitate of silver bromide. And finally, iodide ions produce a yellow precipitate of silver iodide. Okay, the final test is for the sulfate ion, so let's look at that now. First, we add dilute hydrochloric acid to our sample. We then add barium chloride solution. If sulfate ions are present, we'll see a white precipitate. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on testing for non-metal ions in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.